Hello guys, it's Abhishek and you are watching TechSet. I have started a new series on Red Hat Linux 7 Enterprise. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for latest updates. You can also watch my other videos from my playlist to gain more knowledge because in my channel, you will get all you need in tech. In my last video, we have discussed what are the minimum requirements we should have to install RHEL 7. In this video, we will discuss how to install Linux 7 graphically in VirtualBox. So without further ado, let's start. Open virtual box in which we will install Linux 7. I am going to provide you some simple steps. You just need to follow them. Step 1 is click on machine then click on new. Step 2 type the name of the operating system which you want to install. I will type here RHEL 7.6 server. In this screen you have four options. First is type the name of the operating system. Second is the location of the file. Right now it is in username under C drive, but you can change this location according to your requirement. Third is what type of operating system we are using. If you will click on drop down, then you will see you have more options like Windows, Mac, Linux, and many more. But here our operating system is Linux. Fourth is Linux version. Here we are using Linux. 64 bit architecture now click on next this page brings a screen where you can provide ram to linux operating system you can see in my system i have 8 gigs of ram and i'm going to provide 1 gigs of ram to linux operating system now click on next just leave this page as it is and click on next here you can select hard disk type for your linux operating system I'm leaving this page as it is. Click next again. Again click on next. In this page, you can change the location of your virtual hard disk file. And also you can provide disk size to this operating system. I'm giving it 530 gigs. Now click on create. Just click on start. It will pop up a window from where you need to provide the path of your Linux operating system ISO image through which you want to boot this virtual machine. Now click on file icon and select the ISO image. Click on open. Now click on start. Once you will click on start, you will get three options. First option tells you if you click here, installation will start. Second option tells you test the media before moving ahead. Sometimes when we install any operating system by using any ISO image, some files gets corrupted due to this our installation doesn't get complete so this is a benefit of linux it gives us this option to test the media and third option is troubleshoot sometimes our booting file gets corrupted or some file gets damaged so with this option you can troubleshoot or recover booting files of your operating system now i will select first option and press enter because my media is okay once you press enter it will continue the installation of rhel 7 and you can see it is showing anaconda let me tell you what is anaconda anaconda is an installer for linux operating system after checking all the requirements you will get first page here you can select language i'm using by default english language and you can select according to your requirement now click on continue second page brings you another option Click on date and time. From the region, you can select Asia. And from the city, select Kolkata. From here, you can also select date and time format. Like right now, it is 24 hours format. If you want to select AM PM format, then you can select. Now click on done. So in localization category, we are done with the time and you can leave by default keyboard and language support. In software category, leave installation media as it is and click on software selection. Right now, it is by default minimal install. That means after installation, it will be totally command line based and you will not see any graphical interface. And we are going to change it so that we can use both command line and graphical interface. To do so, from the left side, select server with GUI and click on turn. In my previous video, I have told you that in Linux, we have three types of partitions and that are root boot and swap and today we are going to discuss them here 
Before moving ahead, you can see it is by default selected automatic partitioning. And we are gonna do it manual so that we can learn how to create partitions manually. For that, just click on installation destination option. Here, you can see the disk size we have provided in the starting of our video to this virtual machine and that was 530 gigs. And in other storage option, it is by default selected automatic partitioning. That means it will create partitions automatic. But here, we are about to discuss how to create a partitions manual. So just click on I will configure partitions and click on done. Once you click on done, you will get LVM option. Just drop it down and select standard partitions and to create a new partition click on plus button and drop down mount point and select root partition symbol then provide the size i'm using 10,000 mb and that is up to 10 gigs now click on add mount point and you can see our first partition has been created on the right side you can see all the configuration of this partition like the name of this partition is sda1 mount point is root size of this partition is 10 gigs and most important thing is file system guys if you remember i have told you in my previous videos that linux 7 uses xfs file system by default but you can change it also and to change file system just drop down and you can see more file systems now we will add second partition and that is boot and boot partition is used to store booting files of linux to create boot partition again click on plus button drop down mount point and select boot in size option you can type any desired size i'm using 400 mb then click on add mount point it's done let's create third partition and that is swap partition which is used for virtual memory to create swap partition just click on plus button drop down mount point select swap and type the size i'm using 2000 mb means 2 gigs because i have given 1 gigs of ram to this virtual machine and if you remember red hat recommends use double of ram in swap partition now click on add mount point so we are done with the partitions which we needed to install linux red hat 7 now click on done and you will get another prompt then click on accept changes now we are going to manage the last option and that is network and host name click on it and you can see it is by default off just turn it on and you can see mac address ip address and so on from here you can also configure lan card settings for that just click on configure you can change the ethernet name to configure ip address click on ipv4 tab by default it is dynamic just drop it down and select manual then you can give any ip address now click on done after completing all the tasks just click on begin installation and provide root password as i told you in windows we get administrator user who has full rights on the computer same way in linux we get root user who has full rights on computer now assign password to root user and if you want to create another user then you can create and one more thing which is very important whenever we install linux with server GUI then 1189 packages will be installed in our second part of installation we have completed localization software and system category options also we have created root user we assigned the password and here we will discuss next process after rebooting the virtual machine this is a screen we have completed all the options and now it is saying here reboot just click on reboot once machine will be restarted you will get options first option you will get that is red hat enterprise linux server and the second option you will get red hat enterprise linux server with linux rescue so if you want to boot linux system then use the first option and select red hat enterprise linux server and second option especially used to reset root password and that we will discuss in our upcoming videos now select the first option and press enter as you select the first option you will see some files are loading and after that it will give you a license information where we need to accept the license information so just accept it then click on finish configuration now leave options as it is and click on forward now select second option i will register at a later time and click on finish once you click on finish linux installation will be completed successfully and you will get login screen and from login screen you can sign in with root user and if you are not able to see your user then you can click on not listed then type root and you can type the password then click on sign in once you click on sign in it will show you the basic setup like you can select your language i'm just selecting english and you can select according to your requirement click on next now we are ready to use linux so that's how we can install 
linux 7 graphically in next video we will see how to install linux 7 by command line now question time tell me can we create root user during installation of red hat 7 and your options are option a yes we can create option b no we cannot create option c it can be created only after installation you can type your answers in next 10 seconds below the comment section so that's all from my side if you like my videos then hit like make comments share my videos on whatsapp and facebook so that we can spread the knowledge and don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for latest updates thank you